Hey everyone, it's Celine here and today I'm going to teach you guys how you can make your very own bath bombs at home, the ones inspired by Lush. Personally, I love Lush. It's one of my favorite stores just because everything that they do is for a great cause. Like, um, they don't do animal testing, they use for the most part organic natural ingredients, and it always just smells really nice when you go in there. But the only problem is their products can get really costly really fast. So a single bath bomb can cost between four to eight dollars, which doesn't sound that bad, but keep in mind that it's a one-time use item, and if you wanna buy more than one, then that adds up really quickly. But that's not a problem anymore, because in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your very own bath bombs at home for a cheaper price and a larger quantity, so you have more than just one. The great thing about this is that most of the items in this video you most likely have at home, like cornstarch, baking soda, with the exception of probably essential oils or um, extracts, that's probably something you would have to get from the store, but either way, you can make so many bath bombs and whatever else you want to do with these items for such a cheaper price. I just want to quickly thank Jess for showing me this recipe because I really do like this one the absolute best out of all the other ones that I've tried out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So here's what you will need. You'll need some food dye just to add some color so you can use whatever you want. And then after that you're going to need coconut oil or coconut extract. You're going to need raspberry extract or a few essential oils, some cornstarch as well as baking soda. So first take your baking soda and pour that into one cup exactly and then pour that into another cup so you can mix together half a cup of cornstarch. Now you're going to need one and a half lemons so make sure you just squeeze out the juice so you only have the juice and pour it into a separate container so that way you can mix all the dry ingredients and all of the wet ingredients at the same time. Now you're going to need two teaspoons of coconut oil, I use coconut extract, and then you're going to need one teaspoon of water, as well as some essential oils, or you could just use raspberry extract like I did, I just wanted to use raspberry to give it a nice scent, and I didn't see a difference in it, so you're just going to need one and one fourth teaspoons of that. And then mix both ingredients together and mix it and add food dye. In this part I used too little baking soda and as you can see it started to fizz too much where it just became liquid. That is not what's supposed to happen so you need to make sure you use exactly one cup of baking soda. And then I just poured it into cups just to see anyway, I didn't want to waste it. And it didn't turn out the way I planned, it didn't even really work. So um, that's why I just wanted to show you what it looks like if you don't use enough baking soda. So that is not what you want to do. So if you did it correctly you should pour the ingredients together and it lightly fizzes and then it's going to turn into some kind of crumbling mixture so that way you, if you were to hold it in your hand it would just be like little tiny balls I guess. So then just slowly mix everything together and then you could add food dye if you want. I use a little bit of blue food dye and it turned into this really pretty light blue mixture which I absolutely loved and it made my bathtub turn out into a light blue um, periwinkle blue color. Oh and then after that I also put in like one or two drops of purple food dye just to give it like a um, like a kind of tie-dye mixture, which didn't really work out that well, but it still looks pretty in the end. And then once you have your tray put out, try not to use metal like I did here. It turned out to be a little bit difficult to take the bath bombs out of it because it was metal and it was frozen. You're just going to gently pat down the bath bombs into these sets um, design, and you're going to take a teaspoon and just kind of smooth it out if you want to make it look nicer. And those are the bath bombs. Make sure you put them in the freezer for at least eight to nine hours, I would say. I just left them overnight and it turned out wonderful. And then you're ready to use them in your bathtub. If you wanted to add something else to your bath bomb, you could always use 100% tea tree oil. I got this from Trader Joe's, and this helps to nourish the skin and does really great things for your body. And also, I just wanted to show you guys what a regular Lush bath bomb looks like if you were to throw it in, and that's exactly what's going to happen when you use the bath bombs you made. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to send me pictures if you try the bath bombs out. These are such great gifts to give to friends, your family, or just for yourself. Also keep in mind that the recipe that I use makes for a lot of different bath bombs if you're using like a smaller tin size. And make sure to leave a nice comment down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!